okay, so now there's been a lot of questions. There's a lot of speculation. What is the series fully about? What is going on? What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux, and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Rich Lux exclusive. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's so much to talk about. All right, so it's been 24 hours since the Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star trailer has come out. So many people are leaving their comments about it. It's getting insane. It's like a circus on the internet right now. Well, everyone wants to know what Jeffree Star thinks about it and what he has to say. You can kind of like read between the lines to give you some more tea on what this documentary is about. So you already know I have all the receipts and deleted tweets right here. Let me see. Mm. Not that one. This one, here we go. Oh my God, I can't believe this moment is finally here. Shane and Andrew and I have been working on this all year. Swipe up to see the trailer. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> oh, okay, first of all, I'm back in LA. We're back in Calabasas. It's 90 degrees out right now where I'm sitting, but it feels so good to sit in my favorite Snapchat chair. I feel like a lot's happened in this chair and a lot of venting has happened in the mornings, but um, hi you guys, wow. Okay, I'm done crying. I cried at my, watching my own trailer with Shane and Andrew. <laughs> Full tea. Um, I just can't wait for you guys to start watching this next series. This is a full documentary on so many things. Me and Shane have had such a crazy year, but there is one main point, and you guys will see that when you start watching. There's a lot of speculation about what the whole series is about. Um, be patient and just realize it's not what you think. There are nine parts. 2019 has been a roller coaster, and me and Shane have been working so hard Shane, Andrew, and I started filming in January. Can you believe that? Like, and I'm just so ready for this next journey, this next chapter. It is very unexpected, but it's so, uh, everything is just so special. So, October 1st, good morning. October 1st is going to be the start of something so fucking beautiful. Oh, hello everybody. Y'all thought, bitch, where's Jeffrey Lynn been at, Miss Thing? Okay. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. Life has been crazy. So much travel, obviously, recently. So many videos filmed and a lot of work done. And my body was like, girl, we're gonna need to just slow it down a little bit. Today, but uh, allergies, sinuses, anyone else going through it? Like, I'm so congested. I'm like, girl, <laughs> but I'm feeling really good. And just going online right now for the first time, I know that's a little shocking, but um, I went online today finally, and I saw the response to Shane, Andrew, and I's series. And I was like, oh my God. <sighs> okay, so now there's been a lot of questions. There's a lot of speculation. What is the series fully about? What is going on? Um, the trailer, hi, emotional roller coaster. How you doing, girl? Um, 2019 has been crazy. I think I've said that probably a hundred times on Snapchat, but 19 was trying. So amazing on the business front. Personally, so many crazy things happened from the robbery to my beautiful dog passing away. Like, bitch, I've been through the ringer. <laughs> but you know, I'm a survivor. Um, we're always gonna fucking keep it moving and we have to stay strong. So the series documents this entire year so much happened, not just for me, but for Shane and for Andrew, new discoveries, new things, new feelings. And I'm just excited for you guys to see this crazy journey. So whew, thank you for that insane response already on the trailer. October 1st, the series starts in bit. So I think that when you guys see the first episode, you will know the real tea of what is the full spectrum of what it's about. Nine part series. Hello. Okay, you guys, it's time to reel it in. I'm about to get my nails done. I'm about to take a suit of fan. I'm about to go chill and hang out with Nate, um, with Nate and the dogs. And um, I will see you guys in a little bit. So, what's good? Okay, there it is. Now I have my peeps. All right, so he said he was crying when he saw it. Which I'm kind of shocked because like, you always see him as like a tough person. So to see him cry is kind of like, what? He's crying, you know? So. Wow, okay, I know I was emotional when I first saw it. If you were emotional in the video, like, let me know what you think about all that drama. Just let you know, I do have candles out with the Poor House Company. I'll put the link down below in the description. 
you want to check it out they smell really 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 good i just want to give that a little honorable mention along i get so many questions about where i get these fans from this one is from god glam it Dot com. So yeah, thank you for sending me these. I love you guys so much. All right, so here's what Jeffrey said. He said he was crying, not what you think. That's what I took out of the whole thing. He said, it's not what you think. I feel like Jeffrey Star was like, it's not what you think, guys. Because let's keep in mind, this, I have it written down right here too. This was filmed uh, in January of this year. So that's like over nine months ago, or you can argue nine months ago. That's like a birth of a baby, if you think about it. So they've been working up, they've been working on this film, and I don't think for nine months it has been all about top teen games. I don't think so at all. But that's why Jeffrey Star felt like he said, not what you think, is what I wrote down. Look, the response on YouTube has been insane. Because right now, currently, Shane Dawson's documentary trailer, just the trailer, is number one on trending on YouTube. That sets a precedent. So that means when the actual video goes up, like, you know, like here's the thing, right? Cause you never know how it's gonna go. At least that's what I'm told. <laughs> you upload a video, this video could have been not trending at all, demonetized if it was or whatever, I don't know, and just hidden in YouTube and just YouTube could have just shaded it, Shane and be like, we're not gonna show your video. But this proves that it's number one on trending, that enough of you have seen it, liked it, comment on it, that you push the video up, like this is what people wanna watch. So that means when the second one, which is the real one, part one comes out, The Beautiful Life of Jeffree Star, which we'll talk about that in a minute, it's like people are gonna, people are gonna tune in to watch. They wanna know what the tea is about, right? But can you imagine being Shane? You worked on this for nine months, you put up the video and nobody watches. That fear is out of the window, like it's totally gone now because it's number one on trending and the response has been, I, I can only imagine his DMs, his tags, his mentions, Jeffrey's tags, mentions, DMs. I mean, they're probably blowing up with people like just going insane about it. So it's titled, cause I have to like, when I saw it, I immediately made the video I made yesterday, which you didn't watch yesterday's video, check it out if you want. Just saying, it's really good, <laughs> it's my video. Okay, but like I watched it, filmed the video, and then now it's been 24 hours, I got to sleep on it. Now I get to like really talk about it. So it's insane, like, it, it's over the moon, like head over heels. Everyone's excited about it. Everyone's talking about this film. And I, I don't think that people really truly understand that this is like someone's um, life work. There's like there's like a word for it. Like if, for those intellectual poindexters in the comments down below, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, what do you call it? Like a, uh, man. Okay, I don't want all the poindexters in the comments to come for me, but I think this is what I was looking for. Okay, it's right here. Okay, this is, okay, here we go. Ever. That, whatever that, however you say that, I don't know, but it's the definition is the works of a painter, composer, author regarded collectively. And it goes on to say like someone's body of work, someone's substantial body of work, like whatever that, ugh, ugh, whatever that was, that's what this is. <laughs> it's a body of work. And so I feel like Shane Dawson has put so much work into this along with Andrew and Jeffrey. You can just kind of say that I feel like this is not about one thing. And Jeffree Star said in the tr in his like Snapchat, he was like, once you see the first episode, you're gonna understand it's about one thing. And so I think we're gonna be watching. I'll be watching, I hope you'll be watching. So we can understand what the drama is with this whole entire film. Okay, so I wanna stop right there because I, ha I have something I wanna show you, where's that? Uh, okay, this right here. Okay, so everyone's been talking about this online. It's the Honest Beauty Makeup Wipes, Makeup Remover. Now these are by Jessica Alba. Okay, don't come for me, but I've been using Neutrogena makeup wipes for a long time. I've been using like bombs, like take the day away bomb. I've been using bombs from like indie brands that kind of just eat the makeup, those are really good. But everyone says to try this one. So I'm gonna try the Honest Beauty makeup wipe remover. I'll try it on my Instagram. So if you wanna head over there, you can see like my little review. It's on my Instagram story, I'll let you know how this goes. But I wanna talk about this because everyone's talking about the Dragon Beauty face palette by nikita dragon whoa but it's insane here it is it, it is it kind of goes up like that so you can press it like a button and so uh, to me it's not like an eyeshadow oh girl i think i broke it okay that's fine to me it's not an eye oh hold on i got a message where's it at don't forget to feed the cat oh my god i'm gonna feed the cat damn it okay here we go okay so oh my god to me it's not an eyeshadow palette 
it is like a highlight and contour palette. So I have not contoured my face, which I have been lazy doing, but I feel like, okay, this is pretty good. This is a fairly decent enough clean brush. I feel like it's important, because this is supposed to help you like transform, it's really dark. So I feel like, there you go, there you go, a little dark. Okay, if you, if you don't know, and now you know, I'm gonna, I'm, this is my review, okay, so get over it. Okay, oh my God, that's like really bad. I think I made it went too dark, but that's fine. If you, um, grab another brush. If you like make your neck or this part of your face darker with like a contour, it makes your face look skinnier. You look skinnier in the house. So if you can kind of like, okay, there it goes. So, there you go, a little chin part here. So I don't know, my face looks more snatched. And then what you can do also, which I think I'm probably gonna use, well, I'll try to be cool, I missed that one. No, nope, don't want that one. This is fine. There you go, I'll get this one. All right, so I'm going to like, hold on, I'm gonna use this one. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, it actually works. So if you want like the Nikita Dragon highlight and contour, which honestly, let's talk. Because I feel like when you talk, my contour knows. Highlight and contour, it's been done thousands of times before, right? The only difference is there's Nikita Dragon's take on highlight and contour. Does it work? From what I'm seeing, yes. Good, just has a little nose. I think it works. So if you want a good highlight contour palette, this one so far is working for me. Um, it does have a lot of fallout, but I feel like that's natural, whatever. Okay, so now that I've contoured, well, I, I usually would do like this part more, but like, okay, here we go. Okay, I think we got it, okay. Oh my God. Okay, so now that I did this part, um, I don't wanna use this, cause it, to me, I mean, this is really beautiful, check it out. That highlight is not the highlight I'm looking for, nor is this one the one I'm looking for either. I don't know, these two I can kind of skip, unless like I wanted to like, I guess like make my cheeks like a little bit more like pinkish. Oh, there it goes, like it is coming through, watch, check it out. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. But it's not something that I would really use because I don't really use blush that much. But oh my gosh, look what I just found. The Jordan Woods. I Oh my God, can we talk? I feel like we need to talk. Okay, remember the all the drama with Jordan Woods and like the whole like Kardashian like drama, remember? If you don't know, you can Google it. It was like, it was like everyone was talking about it. It was like huge, right? Allegedly, she was sleeping with one of the Kardashians' husbands. Drama, all right? She was the best friend of Kylie Jenner drum well i remember this i bought i think i i think i bought this or someone sent it to me don't know but it's right here so she did this collab with eiler <laughs> which they do collab with a lot of famous um people right so they were like oh yeah we're gonna get this collab with her she did she did a palette with kylie jenner and right when this dropped the eyelash collab the drama happened with kylie and the kardashians and it was like and say, I remember the party. For those who were at the party, people were saying like hardly anybody was there. And then she was in the back the whole time. Allegedly. There was the rumors, girl. What is she doing now? Because remember Kylie kicked her out of the house, allegedly. Because she was living with Kylie. Allegedly. Whatever happened to Jordan Woods? How did this how do we get talking about her? Anyways, back to uh, the key dragon. Uh the palette's pretty cute. I like it. It's kind of fun, it's kind of Claire's, it's kind of like very that, it's very like girly girl type stuff. But I think it's worth it if you're looking for a highlight and contour palette. If you want to support a, a trans CEO, it's right here, Just check it out if you want. Okay, I think that was all that it came with, I think. Don't come for me. Oh, just so you know, the shade names, oh my God. The shade names are Femme, Surge, T-Girl, BB Girl, Fantasy, and Silicone. So. Awesome, check it out if you want. All right guys, if you liked the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life and never get back. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much. Rich Lux exclusive.